Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson, we're going to look at irony and coincidence. The word irony means a situation where two events relate to each other. Often, there is a deep and profound meaning to this, sometimes producing an emotional response, such as regret or sadness. Irony can be either positive or negative, depending on the situation. The occurrences can also be described as ironic. You may find yourself saying, Isn't it ironic? That is so ironic! Here are some examples of irony. I went to town this morning to buy a new wallet, and on the way, I lost my money. I rushed to catch a bus, but just missed it. Then 15 minutes later, three buses arrived at the same time. My first child was born on the anniversary of my father's death. I travelled all the way to Greece for my holiday, and it rained every day. When I returned to England, I found that the weather here had been hot and sunny. So as you can see, irony can be a very ironic thing indeed. Coincidence. The word coincidence means two events that happen at or around the same time, which seem in some way to have been planned. A coincidence can be either a positive or negative event, depending on the situation. Examples of coincidence. Yesterday, I was talking about my best friend in China, and this morning, I received a letter from him. What a coincidence! The car and motorbike were coming around the sharp bend at the same time, and could not avoid each other. It is a sad coincidence. I travelled all the way to Australia, and during the second day there, I bumped into one of my former work colleagues. Such a coincidence! Maybe you discovered my English lessons while you were searching for something else on the internet. What a lucky coincidence! This is Mr. Duncan in England saying thanks for watching and bye bye for now.